The U.S. has welcomed Qatar's de-escalation efforts in Gaza. Three Qataris have been listed in Forbes Middle East top travel and tourism leaders. Seven new recycling factories are set to open soon near Saeed. And finally, Al Arabi player and coach win top honors at QFA Awards. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. The United States has welcomed Qatar's quote, robust de-escalation efforts in Gaza following a five-day brutal Israeli aggression that came to an end on Saturday. The truce came into effect following intensive discussions between Qatar, Egypt and the United Nations to end the latest round of Israeli attacks on the besieged city. At least 33 Palestinians were killed in the Israeli offensive. Three Qatari leaders have been recognized by Forbes Middle East in its annual rank of the region's top 100 travel and tourism leaders for 2023. The list includes Qatar Airways Group CEO Akbar Al Bakr, Qatar Hospitality CEO Nasser Matar Al Kawari, and Hamad International Airport COO Badr Mohammed Al Mir. The Middle East is fast becoming a major player on the global stage, and Qatar has been instrumental in this transformation. And now Qatar is all in with efforts to boost tourism and is keen on 6 million visitors every year by 2030. And now, seven the new recycling factories are expected to begin operations soon. Factories will be located at Al Afja area for recycling industries in Musaid. The facility is expected to be a hub for Qatar's recycling industry, which is quickly accelerating. Earlier this month, authorities said households across the country will soon receive recycling containers to help separate waste. And in sports, Yusuf Al Misakni was named the best player of the season at the QFA Awards. Al Misakni scored 13 goals and was rewarded for his consistent performance for Al Arabi ahead of al Sads Akram Afif and Ulanga. Yunus Ali was also named best coach following Al Arabi's Emir Cup win, its first Emir Cup title in decades. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.